Alright, so let's say we have a right triangle with legs A, B, and hypotenuse C, and that we draw an altitude to the hypotenuse, splitting that thing up into D and E, and then we'll have this little uh, altitude here, maybe I will call it H for height. So what that does is it created, now I have three triangles. I've got this big outside triangle, and I have this little triangle and that little triangle. And all of those triangles are actually similar uh, because they're, they share an angle. So I know, I know that they're similar because like, let's say I knew this one was uh, 30 degrees. Then I would know that because there's 180 degrees in the entire triangle, that this would have to be 60. So and there's 180 degrees in this triangle, so this would have to be 30. So they're all 30, 60, 90 triangles, right? Like this guy here is 30, 60, 90. This one here is 30, 60, 90. And when they all have the same angles, that means they're similar. Now, it didn't have to be 30, 60, 90. Anything I put here would have worked. So you can try it with other angles, but what, no matter what, this angle here will be the same as that angle there. And uh, this angle here will be the same as that angle there. Blech. So we got a bunch of right triangles. Uh, what I sometimes like to do is um, turn them all so that they're in the same orientation. So if I have uh, my right triangle, meaning the one on the right here, or sorry, that's my left. So the triangle on the left is this one here, start angle up here and that angle there, that's A and H and D. And then if I were to take this right guy and sort of tilt him up so that he is in the same orientation and he's got the start angled up there and the regular angle down there, then this is E and the hypotenuse is B and this is H. And then if I were to take my big triangle and sort of flip them and turn them so that the start angle is up here and that's down there. The hypotenuse of this is C and this guy here would be B and that guy there would be A. So some students are really good at seeing all this stuff. You can see I kind of belabor it, but it works. Um, but now that you have them all lined up the same, you can make all sorts of um, proportions with them because you know if they're similar triangles you can set up proportions. So I can say for instance that A is to B as H is to E if I really wanted to, right? Or I could say that um, A is to C maybe as D is to A. So A is to C is D is to A, and I kind of like this one. Um, yeah, this one, this one we tend to use a lot. So let me get rid of the other one. And what else can I do? I can do um, B is to C as E is to B. Um, comparing those guys. I could also do basically anything I want, but there's one other one I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. These guys maybe. What if I did a A is to be H is to E done? What if I said that D 
D is to H as H is to E. There we go. Okay, so lots of lovely proportions. The law looks like a big mess here, but you can prove lots of proportions. The ones I like to use are um, uh, these guys here. So we're going to get rid of these. And what I'm going to say is if that, let's say we know our height, if we're working with this middle piece here, then I could throw that height on the diagonal, and at that height cuts that part in half. So I could put a D there and an E there and set up that proportion. So that's the proportion I like to use if I'm given the height. So like, let's say, putting this in perspective, like if I had this was a 5 and this I didn't know and that was a 3, then I could say that 5, throw the 5's on the diagonal, because that's the height, throw an x there, throw a 3 there, and then I could just solve that proportion for x. So that's what I do when I'm given this middle piece. If I'm given one of the side pieces, let's say I'm given that this is 5 and this is x and that's 3, then I throw, and again it has to be right triangles and side right triangles, I throw one of the legs on the diagonal and it forms a shadow and a whole piece. So I put the shadow and the entire piece there. And I could do the same thing if it were on the other side. So if the 5 was there, the x were there, the 3 were there, I put this leg on the diagonal. And its shadow is the 3, and the whole piece is 3 plus x. So those are the three proportions that I tend to use when solving these right triangles within right triangles. Yeah, a little heelier, but 